Tyler proofing our Christmas decorations or making it into a yes space started all the way at the beginning. We took Stella with us to select the Christmas tree and buy it with us. And once all the decorations came out of storage at home, I allowed her to explore them in a safe way. That way she really got that desire to touch everything that was new and shiny out of her system in a very controlled environment before it all went on a giant Christmas tree. All of the breakable items were still far out of her reach, but anything that wasn't going to break, I allowed her to touch and bring into the room with me. That way throughout this entire process, the novelty of everything that was going on was slowly but surely wearing off. This no longer became something that she was very interested in touching because it's new and exciting. Yes, she was still being a little monkey and imitating everything that we're doing, but because we limited the items that were not going to break if she touched them and allowed her to explore them freely in this environment, she was much less interested in trying to touch and move everything around once it was all set up in place. We weren't sure that this would definitely work with Stella. You can see she's really into throwing things around right now, so we did have our concerns whether this method would work, but surprisingly, it has held up quite well over the past few weeks that we've had these decorations up. With the tree specifically, we also allowed her to get involved as much as possible before it was her nap time in setting everything up. I allowed her to see how I water it. She got involved in the cleanup process with all the extra needles. So before all the decorations were up and it was still quite safe for her to touch, I allowed her to walk around there while I observed. She could touch it as much as she wanted to and realized that it was quite painful for her to touch it still. And then once she went to nap, we were able to go ahead and get all the decorations up that were going to be breakable. You can see we strategically did place those two lounge chairs that we've got in a way that allows us to close off the space. But honestly, Stella is still able to reach in and grab any ornaments if she wanted to. The thing is at this point, she has explored this tree so much, she's only interested in making sure the lights are on and looking at it. But when it's just her and I at home, I do still keep the chairs closed. That way she's not able to pull the entire tree down if she were to have that sudden urge and it does keep her safe. <laughs> Once Stella woke up from her nap and saw the tree fully set up, you can see we left those chairs open because I wanted her to have that final chance to explore it with all the ornaments. I left a couple ornaments out as well that she was able to help me put onto the tree so that again she got that final feeling of having been involved and exploring what this new item is and the novelty of it wore off. And I did the same thing over on the other side where we've got the little village set up on the shelf as well as our stockings being held up. Baba? The mama. Mama, papa. Stella. I am a And you can see I was careful to model just pointing but not touching the stockings and not ripping them down. And then we gave her a chance, she wanted to bring over her felt ornaments from her snowman activity and decorate the tree a little bit more. So while we were carefully observing her, we allowed her to have that chance to actually interact with the tree and get all that energy out. And just to be certain, we went ahead and offered this mini Christmas tree that she keeps in her room now. It has these non-breakable ornaments, so she had a chance to decorate it as much as she wanted to, take them down, put them back on. And unlike the way she handled the elf earlier in the day, just tossing him around, you can see she was incredibly gentle and very careful with how she handled the ornaments. And she's maintained that composure surprisingly well over the past few weeks that we've had this all set up. She's tried to come over to the tree to look at it. She's tried touching the sign that she knows she was allowed to touch, but she hasn't tried yanking off any of the ornaments. I do, like I said, close off those chairs when it's her and I alone, but everything else she's been incredibly gentle with. She touches what she was allowed to touch during the setup process, and everything else she simply looks at. But just to give a little bit more Christmas spirit to her in a way that she's able to explore, we also did decorate her little playroom with a little bit more of the snowy wintry items, just so she has her own special place.